Hey guys, it's Blue Guy, and today I'm going to be doing my June wrap up and July TBR. So yeah, I read how many books? I read eight books this month, so it was pretty good. And let's just get started. First book I read this month was Unite Me by Tahara Mafi, the paperback bind up of the Shatter Me series novellas. I rated this four stars. I quite liked it. I liked Fracture Me a little bit more than Destroy Me, but oh well. And also, it kind of rekindled my hope for the rest of the series because I wasn't the hugest fan of, of Unravel Me, the second book in this series, which I read last month. But this was actually kind of good, so yeah, fingers crossed Ignite Me is good whenever I do end up reading The next that. book I read this month was The Treatment by Suzanne Young, the conclusion to the program duology, and I rated it five stars because it was amazing, like just as good as the program. This duology is so please so good please read it it is amazing the next book i read this month was the unbecoming of mara dyer by michelle hodkin the first book in the mara dyer series and i rated it four stars i really liked the plot and the paranormal aspects of it but i think there was a lot of filler in it that was kind of unnecessary it wasn't bad but i didn't really like that there was filler probably a hundred pages could have been cut out of this because it was just filler and not really relevant to the story and I also don't really like the romance in this book so yeah not a full five stars if those two things were better I probably would have rated this five stars because I really liked the plot. The next book I read this month was Never Fade by Alexandra Bracken the second book to the Darkest Mind series and I rated it five stars. I loved it. This was probably my favorite book of the month. It was so amazing and feels at the end and it was just so so good. Please read The Darkest Minds and Never Fade and I am so pumped for In the Afterlight which comes out in a few months. I need it now. The next three books I read, I read for the hashtag Ribsat readathon round two so the first book I read for the rib set and for this month um not the second for this month you know what I mean I read it for the second book for rib set but not the second this month The Evolution of Mara Dyer by Michelle Hadkin the second book in the Mara Dyer series and again I rated it four stars Again, there was still filler in it that was unnecessary to the story that could have been cut out, but I liked the plot. I really liked the plot. I, the romance, again, was not a good aspect of this. I'm not really liking the romance in the series, but I really like the plots. It's just those two main things that are keeping me from rating this series, the books in this series, five stars. And then the next book that I read for Ribsat was An Abundance of Catherines by John Green. I rated it three stars. It was good, but not great. Nothing special, really. I mean, it was a quick, fun read. It was really short, a little bit over 200 pages. But I liked the formatting of this book because it had graphs and footnotes and fun things like that. But... The plot was average. I really liked the characters though, so it was it was okay. Not like great though. And then I started Will Grayson, Will Grayson by John Green and David Levithan during Rib Set but did not finish it. So after Rib Set during the rest of the month I finished this and again I rated it three stars. Nothing special, good but not great. And it was kind of average. I don't know. Like, it was not the worst thing the ever. The last book I read this month was Across the Universe by Beth Revis, the first book in the Across the Universe trilogy. And I rated it four stars. I really enjoyed it. I really liked the plot. And the characters definitely had a lot of depth. And 
I kept finding like parallels to Brave New World, although I didn't really like Brave New World by Aldous Huxley. This was like a better version of it. Like kind of, I, I liked it a lot more than Brave New World and it is a little bit similar to Brave New World kind of. It's like Brave New World in space, modern. Does that make sense? I don't know. But anyway, there were two main things that kept me from rating this five stars. One, again, filler. Not filler. No, it wasn't filler. The, I mean, it was kind of necessary to the story, but it was just slow. And not all of it was amazing. Like, yeah, there were parts of it that were amazing, but there was some, like, slow parts. Not bad, but just slow parts in here. And also, swear words were substituted for fake swear words, and sometimes it got a little annoying. Like, just use the regular swear words. Why do you have to make them up? Make new ones up? Like, I don't... I don't understand that. But yeah, this is really good and I'm looking forward to continuing on with the series. And then I started reading a novella which was The Staff of Serapis. Serapis? Serapis? I don't know how you say that. I think it's Serapis. I'm not sure though. By Rick Riordan, the second book in the Percy Jackson Kane Chronicles crossover novella series. I read this sort of so back a while back. Uh, and so I thought that I could get the Staff of Serapis on iBooks, and I did not finish this novella, however, I'm almost done with it, but I just couldn't push myself to finish it. I was reading a lot of it last night, but I just couldn't push myself to finish it, and I may or may not finish this novella today, or sometime in, like, tomorrow or something. I don't know when, but it's it, I didn't finish it. And then I have two books on my TBR. Only two books. I know that seems not that, like, that doesn't seem like a big TBR, but both of these books are pretty large, so it'll probably take the bulk of the month to finish them and if I end up buying any more books then maybe I'll read them. But the first book I'm planning on reading in July for my July TBR is Crown of Midnight by Sarah J Moss, the second book in the Throne of Glass series. I really enjoyed Throne of Glass so I'm really looking forward to reading Crown of Midnight in preparation for the third book to come out, Heir of Fire. Did I get that right? I, th I think so. I think it's called Air of Fire, but anyway, I'm so excited to read this because Throne of Glass was really good, and this is about, I don't even know how much, how long is this? 418 pages, so yeah, it's about the same size as Throne of Glass, so this will probably take like a week to read, and also tomorrow I'm going on a trip to my grandma's lake house with like some of my other family because we stay there for like a week during the summer family on my dad's side and so I'll probably take this book with me and read it on the trip so that'll probably get this out of the way in the first week of and the July. other book I'm planning on reading this month is finally Under the Dome by Stephen King oh my god I bought this at like in the end of December of 2013 so it's been like half a year since I hauled this like if you go back to the haul where I hauled this book it was like so long ago like during Christmas time so yeah and also this is a monster like brick it's a little bit over a thousand pages um, it's 1072 pages so that's how big it is. It's really big and I have a plan for over the summer to read this. Like it was in my summer reading goals video. If I read a hundred pages of this a day I can complete this in 10 days so it won't take like forever for me to finish this book. But anyway even though it's big and I'm kind of afraid I'm actually pretty excited to read this book. It's also a series on CBS 
which I have not watched any of that, but after I read this, I can, like, watch the whatever is out of it because a new season of this is coming out. I think it actually premieres today, so I'll probably be late on that, but hopefully I can, like, read this soon so I can watch that, maybe. Who knows, but... Yeah, just know that I want to complete this in July. Well, that is it, and I'll see you guys later. And, oh, I almost forgot, I will probably not be making the Top 5 Wednesday video for this week, because, as I said before in this earlier in this video, I'm going on a trip tomorrow and I'll be gone for the whole week, so I probably won't be making the Top 5 Wednesday video for that or any videos during that week. But, yeah, that's pretty much it, and bye.